Ashes, if you will. I don't know if you saw what I did there. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Dang it. <laughs> and Mugi going with what we now call the Muhammad Light opening with the wall breakers behind King Tower. Right there, it's a very simple play, but if they split the minions behind the King Tower, you can get maximum value, taking out all the minions and a little bit of chip damage on the Crown Tower. So might we expect a uh, Mega Knight Prince here out of Mugi in this deck, Josh? Yeah, you have to assume with the arrows plus wall breakers, that's always looking like it's going to be the case. And on the flip side, Pedro again running mortar. I mean, this is why Muhammad Light was talking about him as one of the most feared opponents. Even if you're able to predict him running that mortar, he's just so fundamentally sound with it. Reminds me of another player who had a phenomenal World Finals debut back in 2019. Oh, that's right. Oh, I forgot to mention that. But yes, Pedro is having the run of his lifetime. And it is exactly like what Igor was able to accomplish with Team Liquid back in 2019. And this is a huge counterplay out of Pedro very early. Getting this right hand tower down to 2271 and decides to keep the pressure on. Yeah, and right there, Miner in response for Mugi, but Pedro up Elixir, able to protect it beautifully wow. right there, especially with the help of the log. And Pedro doing his little happy dance, making some really good plays. And again, just protecting the heck out of this mortar, and it gets a lock. Miner on the tower, and you see Mugi, the tilt of the head. Maybe cannot believe how far in the future Pedro's been so far. Pedro, at this point, still up one elixir. One of his mortars cycled, so that way he's closer to his evolution. And right now, there it is. There's the second mortar. Mortar evolution going to be on its way next time it gets placed down. A lot of people have asked, who the heck is Pedro? Who is this guy? And it's really because he almost wasn't even on the map last year, but then began this 2023 campaign with a number one finish on ranked in February, alongside two other top 10 finishes wow. on alternate accounts. Right there. Then, yeah, go ahead, John. Right there, Mega Knight not er, getting a great jump, taking out the Little Prince almost all the way, and that would have been absolutely massive if he could have protected the Little Prince properly. Goblins in response, and that's going to be a mortar lock. No! Arrows are going to come down just in time. So great defense from Mugi. That was looking scary for him. Both players take a moment to reset. Final 10 seconds of regulation time. Sudden death on its way. And Mookie just has not figured out the math for this matchup yet. Poison over the middle of the map. Ice Spirit as well. Going to take out the coast as well. So again, Pedro, knowing his interactions, knowing that it's going to be taken completely off the board, and when you are forced into positions where you have to do the Prince against the Mortar, it is just so ugly. It is difficult to defend properly, and we see it right there with a Mortar Lock. This is a lot coming in now. Miner goes to the Evolved Archers. Ice Spirit plus minions for the Wall Breakers. They get them all. Does the Prince charge? No. Log in. Still has to contend with these bats. And right now it's Moogie putting the pressure on. Yeah, right there. Beautiful stuff from Pedro. He's going to allow a little bit of damage, but he's not going to allow the tower. Instead, the bats lock on, but the goblins come down just in time. 70 seconds left. Lead for Pedro is substantial, almost 1,000 HP in that 900-plus range at the moment. But Triple Elixir does allow these Mega Knights and Princes to begin the stack. And right there, Pedro recognizing the matchup and how he's supposed to play. Will he activate the ability? And he absolutely does right here. The poisons are always going to be super value. We're going to see the poisons every time the archers come down on the board. 38 seconds left. Healthy Mega Knight and Prince on the right-hand side. Poison no longer available for those evolved archers in the middle. Royal Ghost getting away on the left-hand lane. Miner has to defend against the Mega Knight in the middle. Royal Ghost plus evolved archer on the left-hand side. And now suddenly, significant damage on both sides. Yeah, right there, the Miner is going to chip away. We need the Miner on the left side. 17 seconds left. Three goblins in the back for Pedro. Mega Knight comes down, mortar high. High Spirit to reset the miner. Arrows come in, another miner down, poison ticks. That will not be enough, and Pedro is one win away from our grand.
Grand Final. Incredible work from Pedro right there. All right, guys, stop. It's Egolem. <laughs> that would be crazy if that actually came out right there. I've got a good feeling it won't. So Pedro going to the archers as his evolution here in game number two. Doing it for the fan. And little prince out for Moogie with the poison not available. And that's a lot of graveyard damage very early, Josh. Yeah, that's right. Huge cheers for Moogie right there. Pedro just messing up the defense, and it really is as simple. This is one of the most basic tips you can ever have for graveyard. Archers are out of cycle. Let's go all in. And now trying to get some of that back is Pedro with Bowler and Archers behind this Electro Giant. Bowler getting stuck right there, and that is very unfortunate for Pedro. If the Bowler had just bowled one time, that could have been very intimidating for Mugi. Uh, potentially could have flipped how much damage both of these players have done. Instead, Mugi in the driver's seat. Well-timed by Pedro, setting up that tombstone in the back. Now another slowdown here as Pedro just chooses to change the conversation to the other side of the arena. So the reason why we're seeing Tombstone placed in the back behind the Crown Tower is because... Well, actually, no, just kidding. I was thinking that he had lightning for Moogie. That's not true. That's what's in Pedro's deck. Instead, just trying to slow down the game. That's why we're seeing the Tombstone in the back. And again, continuing to want to make Moogie switch lanes. No problem there for the former world champion playing Graveyard. A lot of Splash Yard seen today, and we haven't seen a ton of success so far, but we might be seeing it right here. Great start for Moogie. And the bowl wow. a little bit of room. That's an aggressive Evolved Archers here. And right there is that three, is that four bowls on top of the tower. Wow. We see Moogie upset right there. It is shocking how the bowler was able to get so much damage. And that's actually one of those things. The knight, it's, it's supposed to be so great because ranged troops aren't going to be doing a ton of damage right there. It's able to stay alive and allow the bowler to bowl. And Pedro gets an extra shot from the archer on the left-hand side. So suddenly, the change of lanes has given him the lead, 1837 to 1261. So right now, two stone in the back. Death, Mugi has nearly tied things up. Doing it for the fans. How does Pedro want to respond? Split archers behind the King Tower. Mugi could be getting very aggressive right here, and he does. Knight Graveyard at the bridge. NATO in response, not going to allow a tank. And the tower, with the help of one archer and the baby dragon, going to clean up everything very nicely. 75 seconds left. The margins. So close between these two. And one thing I've recognized throughout this tournament is that bridge bowlers are so, so valuable because of those tombstones and the fact that these tombstone skeletons are going to be taken away. And we see it right there. That is huge for Pedro. Nato pulls things back. Bowler does go, but does not take the Little Prince off the board. Finally, Little Prince gone. And now Pedro poured it on in the left-hand lane. Graveyard play probably incoming here. Or was that just a faint for Moogie? And right there, Archer's in response. Tombstone is going to stay perfectly healthy. Will the Bowler get a shot? Oh my goodness. Knight does not kite, but that's okay. Electro Giant in. Tombstone to pull all the way over. Bowler goes to that left-hand lane. E-Giant does not pull with the Tornado. And right there, 1203, 300 HP separate in the two plays. He needs to get a Tombstone down, and he does. 
13 seconds left. 860, 886, 922. Graveyard and Poison in. Tombstone, Baby Dragon to defend. So are the Archers. Lightning. Will it tick enough? 587. Oh! No, 